everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really easy pop-up card. So this is the front. I've just got some lovely little dragonflies here. Done some ribbon crossed over, got a little tag. And then when you open up the card inside, you have this. So I've got two floating dragonflies. And then they've got this little one inch by one inch pop-up feature. So when it's all on the right angle, that's how it looks. And then I've used a bright rose, a dye, which I'll talk you through and show you in a moment. Done some more flowers and bits there. You can write on this here if you want, or you can write on the back. And I just think it looks really, really cute. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so the papers I'm using are the Paper Addicts Tropical Bliss. This is the 12 by 12, but they also do six by six. And I think it's 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. It's a smaller one as well, really nice and great value for money. I think these are four, four pound or six pound. The smallest one's two pound, I think. So really good. And again, I'll share all the links to that as I always do. So I've already gone and picked the papers that I want and I've done the front of my card and I'll talk you through the measurements and everything for that in a moment. And that's all the pieces that I've cut. So you're going to need a six by six card blank. So I've just cut this lovely orange color here. So this was from a piece of 12 by 12 and I just cut it in half. And then along the 12 inch side, you want to score at six inches and fold in half or you can just have a pre-made one. It doesn't have to be a colored one like I have, but I thought I just, I really like using the orange. I think it always kind of just gets used just for like Halloween projects, but actually it, if you mix it with the right things, it works really nice, you know, throughout the year. So then I've got this here, which was actually another pre-made six by six card and I just cut it down, but you will need a piece of cardstock that's 11 and a half by five and three quarters and you're going to score at five and three quarters through the middle. Okay, so just halfway there, fold it in half, and what's going to happen is that will sit perfectly in here, giving you a nice border. Okay, so that's those two pieces. And then for the actual pop-up piece, you want a piece that's five by four, and along the four inch side, you're going to score at half an inch, one and a half inches, two and a half inches, and three and a half inches. Okay, so you should have three one inch pieces and then two half inch pieces either side, or like panels. Then this is just for my grass, to be honest, it's entirely up to you in terms of the height, but the width you do want, well, I'm gonna have two pieces that are five and three quarters long, and then they're just six inches. I just cut a piece of, well, it was just over six by six, but you'll see when I do it. But as long as you've got the width, which is five and three quarters, it's up to you with the height, because it's just the grass. And then I've got this piece, which is five, because that's gonna go along this piece here. Again, it's all gonna make sense once we pop it all together. And then for the front of the card, I've got a piece of five and three quarters by five and three quarters, that's the white. And then the pattern paper's five and a half by five and a half. And then I've just wrapped some ribbon around and then I've done this little kind of cluster here. I've done a little tag that says, wish you the most beautiful day. And I've put some little embellishments on there. And then I've fussy cut some of those dragonflies and stuck them on top here as well. And that one, I just think it's gorgeous. And then on the back, I've put a load of foam, which is why it's curved, because I've got all the foam on it. Once I take the release paper off, then that will flatten. You can see where I just wrapped the ribbon around. So that's my, my topper all ready to go. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use this really cool happy birthday die and this is from the bright rosa birthday words so you get these three here the happy birthday and wishes and then you also get these three but they're actually two dies that's two four six how many did they say yeah 12 yeah six no that should be more one oh no because there's two on this as well so you get two four six eight ten twelve that's right twelve dies they're really good so i'm going to be using them so that they're cut into the card. If you use the frames, then you'll cut it out and it'll be you know, its own piece and you can put it wherever you want, but they do go around like this. So you get these three pieces. That's the wishes there as well. And then that's how these come. So you'll see, oh, you've got the birthday and then you can have the frame cut out around it. Really cool dies these, I love them. I've already been using them quite a lot, but like I said today, I'm just gonna use the happy birthday and I wanna position it kind of down here because this pop-up piece, if you fold and burnish all of those score lines, I already done it because I wanted to check it worked, it's gonna sit there and it's gonna come out by one inch, okay? So I wanna have my happy birthday 
I reckon about there because I'm going to have a few bits of flowers and stuff kind of cascading down here into this area so all I'm going to do is line up my piece of paper with this grid here just so I can get this straight and I'm going to have it about halfway one two three four five six it's just under six I know but I'm going to have it just a little bit down there and just grab some it's just yeah main thing is getting this straight because this is going to be really noticeable and then this one I'm going to butt right up underneath it okay and then again pop that on there now I'm going to run this through my machine now mine is perfectly lined up now mine just fits this and I'm going to cover turn this over actually get a fresh piece I need to replace it just with some copy paper just to protect. Now I'm not going to run the whole thing through, I'm just going to run it over that and then back again. Okay, so let's see and hope that this has turned out how I would, I'm hoping it will. <laughs> so just carefully remove that there. Oh yes it has. So the first time I've used these like this, oh it's exactly what I was hoping. So now when you get this lovely colour behind, Look how cool that looks. Oh, I'm so pleased with how that's turned out. There are so many like ways to use these dies. I mean, that's just one way. You don't have to have them as close as I have, obviously. But yeah, they're just great that you have the option to be able to keep it in the, the you know, in the paper or the card, or you can, you know, die cut it straight out. But that's exactly what I was hoping. So now I'm going to get this all stuck down. So I'm So I'll start with the centre, get that score line lined up and then the rest you can kind of wiggle around, keep it folded and that way you know that it's all lined up. Now this glue is good because as long as your fingers aren't dirty like I always say but you can rub off any excess so I'll just rub that little bit off there and there we go we have the inside already so that was just so quick and easy to do and now I've got this piece that we're going to stick in here so for this I'm going to use my red tape just because you it's kind of better if you do it in stages so you just want to add some tape to the half inch kind of tabs here so I'm just going to run a couple of strips on each one okay so I've just done that now just thinking about it, it's going to be better if you do your grass next because you want to stick that down on the back yeah and then stick that because then the other grass in front. So this is a piece of five and three quarters and I'm just going to use my, these, they've just fallen down the back. Anyway, so what you can do is if you kind of just roughly do this, <laughs> just create like a wave as if you're creating, yeah, like the waves on the, the ocean. Oh no, hills actually, there we go. And then cut down Like so, it doesn't matter if, you, I mean I'm not going right to the bottom because I need to obviously be able to stick this, but it will give you grass, and I use this a lot, I've used this in many, many videos, so you don't want to go right to the end because that happens, but that will cover up with my little pop-up and then the end ones, and you'll have instant grass, and pop that on the back, look how quick is that, so, and then, yeah that's going to cover that piece which is good. So now I did have two pieces because I think I'm going to stagger them. So again, I'm just going to roughly cut this and then cut down again. Okay, now what you can also do is just stress this. So I have done that before. Just grab, I use these now all the time, the brushes. You can just pop it in some of your inks and just go and distress all the ends. But I want to keep this card quite clean. So my plan is now that I can stagger the two just to give it a little bit more of a background, really. Like so. There we go. And then if you imagine, we're going to have this smaller one, which is going to be right at the front. And I just think it's going to look really good. So <laughs> I'm going to stick this one down first. I'm just going to grab, I'm going to use this glue again, just because it gives you really nice time to be able to wiggle stuff around. And then it dries really, really firm. So um, it's great if you're using like a, a not very heavy cardstock. 
So there's that one, and then pop this one. Oh, turned it around, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. I want to try, what I am going to do is just, this is what I mean, see it allows me to just take that straight off and quickly trim that. You don't want to have any of the grass overhanging the white. Well, that, well I don't anyway, I mean it's, it's up to you. But um, yeah, I've got a little bit there as well, so I'm just going to trim that down. There we go, and then stick that. There we go, how cool does that look? So now we can stick this down. Now I am just thinking, because this is going to be glued on there and I haven't put glue behind that, so it may well be worth our while actually to lift up. Didn't think about that. So I'm going to just pop my ruler behind all that grass and roughly an inch up really, it doesn't matter if it's higher, but I'm just going to add some glue just in there, okay? So there's an easy way to sort that out and then just kind of let that dry a sec. I don't want to push it down too much so I don't want too much of that glue oozing over but this again is going to cover and once we build everything else up but I just want to make sure that's got a nice piece to kind of you know stick to and it's not just going to fall off so I'm just going to let that just do its thing for a moment. While that's just drying, if you fold in the two tabs like this okay and butt it right up keep it up in this kind of right angle position so I've just got that glue just behind there okay you want to keep it in this position here just for the minute and butt that up and you want to make sure you've got it in the center so you've got equal sides overhanging here take off the backing okay so again just gonna bring that one in like so and then if you let it kind of tack up and then just bring the whole thing down like so. Okay, so that's okay there for the minute. And then take the backing off the other one. I'm just thinking you need to stick the base down as well. We can do that after. And then with this one, you just want to keep that folded over like so. Okay, so just folded it over like that. And then bring the whole thing down. Okay, and then it'll come up like that. And then all you need to do is open it up. And I'm just going to pop some glue just on the bottom here. I didn't think about that one before, but it's easily rectified. If you keep it up or fold it flat, actually, it's easier because then you'll know it'll close flat and just hold that down just so that all sticks. Okay, and then when you open it up, you will have your pop up. Okay, and it's all nice and neat. Now it's all the fun decorating, although this I already love. So I'm going to do the next lot of. I think, no, I think I might do the grass last because I want to have some of this on acetate, I think I'm going to have some of them floating, so I'm going to kind of rest it, if I grab, yeah, use that glue there, just rest it, just so that you guys can see it a bit better, there we go, so I have, like I said, gone and cut all these pieces, but I need to kind of work out how I'm going to have them, okay, because some of it I think I want kind of in between the different layers of grass, can you imagine, let me just cut this grass, because I need to kind of see what it's going to look like, Okay, so that's going to go there. It just goes in. Oh, I've got a little bit of white showing, which that's okay. I think maybe by the time I've got, yeah, let's see if I have like a flower coming over there. So now when that is like that, that's the way, that's the profile you get. So from that piece, I want to have coming from here on acetate, I'm going to have a couple of these dragonflies floating. Okay, so they'll probably be like that. It was really hard for me to try and get this so you can see. So they're going to be like that. So I'm going to have two on acetate stuck to this front piece like this. Then I will put the grass in front and then I can start maybe sticking a couple on the grass, cutting some of these flowers down so the smaller ones there and, you know, laying that all out a little bit better. But I just wanted to kind of talk you through that so you can, you know, make sense of what I'm doing. And now I'll put it all on high speed and you can watch me put it together. Oh, and also before I do that, whatever you put on here, make sure that when you fold the card flat, it stays within this card. Because obviously if you have something on acetate and it's quite high, you might end up having your bits hanging out there. So just when you go to measure it up, pop your acetate in there and close the card up and make sure none of it overhangs. All right.
Okay, so there's the card finished inside. I really like this a lot. Love the way that they just kind of look like they are floating. And then I've just added a few here. Now you can use this as your area to write to and from, but I'm gonna do something on the back instead, just so that this kind of stays, you know, as it is, as a nice displayed piece. So it all folds nice and flat, like I say, just make sure you can see there, those aren't poking out the sides and nothing's kind of overhanging here. And then I've got this piece now to go on top of there. So this um, so it's a top folding card, so I'm going to I'm going to have to pop it up like that so I can see where I'm going. So now you can see the front and then isn't that pretty? And it just it's got such a nice look to it. I just yeah, I love it. So on the back, what I would suggest is you have a piece of white which is five and three quarters by five and no, sorry, do I yeah, do white that's five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Then you could do a pattern that's five and a half by five and a half, and then white again, which is five by five, and that'll give you a really nice background, and then you can just stamp something and write your message. So I'll do that off camera and you'll see that in my blog, but yeah, that is the finished card. So I absolutely adore this little pop-up card. It's a really simplified version again. I have got ones that are more difficult, um, but it is a card style that I do enjoy and I love creating that scene. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.